In this question, uh, there is an organic synthesis, a 62% yield of product is achieved. Now uh, let's uh, underline this, uh, we need to discuss what yield is. The formula for yield is that yield is basically equal to the actual or experimental uh, value divided by the theoretical value into 100. So this is percentage yield. What that basically means is that if the theoretical value, the theoretical value is the value that you uh, uh, that you uh, calculate on paper. So theoretical value, if the theoretical value for a reaction or for a substance, the output of a reaction comes out to be 100 grams, then when you actually go and perform the experiment, the actual value might differ because your reactants might have some impurities in it or the or the conditions of the reaction would not be suitable for the reaction. So if your theoretical value, the one that you calculate on paper is 100 grams and your actual value comes out to be 80 grams, that means your yield is 80 over 100 into 100, that would be 80%, which means that you calculated on paper, the theoretical value that you calculated was 100 grams, but in reality, when you performed the experiment and there were impurities and the conditions were not right, so so your actual experimental value would differ and it was it would always differ. Uh, it would be very unlikely that it comes out to be greater than 100% because most of the time uh, your reactants uh, are impure, the conditions are not suitable. So whenever you perform an experiment, most of the time the value that you're going to get or whatever uh, value that you're talking about, uh, whether it's mass of uh, the product or the volume of gas that is formed, it's always going to be lesser compared to the value that you have calculated uh, on paper using your calculator. Now coming back to the question, uh, he's given us uh, uh, three options and he wants uh, which he, what, he, what, he, what he's basically asking for is which conversions are consistent with this information. So he's, what he's basically asking for is in which of the three options uh, is the yield 62%. Now, if you look at uh, the first option, uh, the first option says that butan 2 all is being converted to butan known. Now, butan 2 all is you have 2 all means that there are four carbons, and 2 all means there, there is a hydroxy group, OH group, on the second one, and the rest would all be hydrogens. There would be one hydrogen with this two hydrogens over here to complete the bonds, three over here. So this is butan to all and the product that is being formed using butan to all is uh, butanone which is it has four carbon atoms and it has a double bond O and complete the bonds with hydrogens. So there would be two hydrogens over here and there would be three hydrogens over here. So this is the first reaction. This is butanone. Now he's given us the mass of butane to all, so that's 74 grams. And he's also given us the mass of butanone which is formed, which is uh, 44.64 grams. Now what we need to do is we need to figure out whether this is 62% yield or not. Now if you look at the reaction, we would know that one butanone produces one butane to all produces one butanone. So, so the mole ratio would be exactly the same. If you have 10 butane to alls, there would be 10 butanone that would be produced. So the first thing is we're going to try and figure out what are the moles. Now moles is equal to mass divided by the MR. And in this case for butane to all, the mass is already given. It's 74 grams. And the MR is also, if you count, uh, all the atoms carbon is 12 12 into 4 plus there's one oxygen and there are 3 4 5 6 7 and 10 hydrogens if you count the uh, if you told the MR that comes out to be 74 as well so you have exactly one mole of butane to all now based on that information since the ratio is exactly the same one butane butane to all produces uh, one butanone so if you have one mole of butane to all, then on the other side, you are going to have exactly one mole of 
butanone that should be produced. So that information uh, is now with us. So one mole of butanone should be produced. So we can find the mass of butanone that would be produced. Now mass is equal to moles multiplied by MR. And the moles that are that we have calculated are you have one mole of butanone that should be formed. Theoretically that should be formed. And we're going to find the MR now. And we're going to total all the atoms. So uh, there would be four carbons as four into twelve. Plus there's one oxygen, so that's sixteen. Then plus uh, you have uh, you have three and five and eight hydrogens. Now, if you calculate this value on your calculator, the answer that you're going to get is seventy-two grams. So this is your this seventy-two grams over here is your theoretical. It's your theoretical value. It's the one that you calculated you using a calculator, and this uh, forty-four point six four grams that was given earlier. This over here is your actual value. This is your experimental value that you got uh, from the question. The question stated that 44.64 grams of uh, butanone is being produced. But in theory, when we calculated and using ratios, we found out that theoretically 72 grams of butanone should be produced. Now using formulas, we, we're going to figure out whether this is 72% yield or not. Now the formula of percentage, formula of percentage yield is the actual which is 44 you're getting 42 44.64 grams in your experiment divided by the theoretical which should be 72 grams so theoretically you should get 72 grams but you're getting 44.64 grams and you multiply it by 100 and if you do that the answer would be 62 percent so the first option is this first option is correct the yield the information that's given is basically equivalent to 62 percent yield of product now we also need to verify the second part of the uh, the second option and in the second option you have 74 grams of butan 1 all producing 54.56 grams of butanoic acid so first uh, butan 1 all is producing butanoic acid and let me draw the structure of both substances. Butyl 1 all is, uh, it's going to be CH3, CH2, CH2, and then there would be another CH2 and then OH. And butanoic acid on the other hand would be CH3, CH2, CH2, and then C double OH. So, the ratio in which uh, these substances are reacting, uh, if you look carefully, uh, one butan one all can only produce one butanoic acid. So the ratio should be one ratio one. If you have 10 butanols, then obviously there would be 10 butanoic acids. So the ratio is one ratio one. So let's write down the ratio. Uh, one mole should produce one mole of butanoic acid. And that should be the ratio. The information that's given is we're given 74 grams of butan one all so that information is with us so you're given 74 grams and using 74 grams we can find moles moles would be equal to mass which is 74 divided by the mr of butan one all which is also 74 and that would give us exactly one mole so using ratios one mole of butan one all should theoretically produce one mole of butanoic acid so it should theoretically produce the same amount so so we have moles and we can find uh, mass now so theoretically one mole should be produced so it's going to be one mole of butanoic acid multiplied by the mr of butanoic acid which in this case is 88 so the theoretical using cal my calculator the theoretical mass that should be produced is 88 grams but this is the theoretical value so this over here is your theoretical value the one that you obtain using your calculators now the question states that 54.56 grams of butanoic acid is produced so your actual amount of butanoic acid that is being produced in the reaction 
so this here is your actual or experimental value now what I need to do is I need to figure out the yield of this reaction uh, you should have obtained theoretically 88 grams but you are actually obtaining 54.56 grams so your so your actual output or yield of this reaction would be the actual value 54.56 divided by your theoretical value which is 88 and you multiply it by 100 and this would also be equal to 62 percent so your yield or output percentage output is 62 percent for this reaction as well hence the second option is also correct now let's uh, check the third option uh, in the third option you have 74 grams of 2 methyl propyl manol which I have drawn over here this is 2 methyl the uh, there's a methyl branch on the second carbon atom and propyl manol so there's an OH at the end and it changes gets converted to 2 methyl propanoic acid so methyl on the central second carbon atom and 2 methyl propanoic acid COH so in this reaction you have uh, uh, again you're given 74 grams of uh, 2 methyl propyl manol so let's quickly find the moles uh, so 74 grams moles would be equal to mass divided by MR so 74 is the mass and if you total the uh, atomic masses of all the atoms the MR is also 74 so this is also one mole and if you look at the two uh, the reaction one mole would produce only one mole so the ratio is one ratio one so if you have one mole then one mole theoretically one mole of uh, two methyl propanoic acid should be produced so we can find the mass of two methyl propanoic acid which would be moles multiplied by the MR which in this case is 88 if you total all the atomic masses of all the atoms so theoretically you should get 88 grams so that's your theoretical value so this over here is the theoretical value that sh you should get so this is the theoretical value and the actual value that was given in the reaction is this one it's 54.56 grams so 54.56 grams is the value that was obtained when the experiment was actually done so this is your actual or experimental value so we need to find yield now using formula of yield yield percentage yield so it's actual 54.56 divided by 88 which is the theoretical into 100 and that is also equal to 62 percent so the yield is 62 percent in the third option as well so all three options are correct and according to the uh, key uh, if all three options are correct the option is going to be a